eternal and everlasting God, our Father. We thank you for this opportunity to pause once again and to call in a whole and everlasting name. And as he come this morning, Heavenly Father, we do not come in any form or fashion, but we come to give in unto thee praises, Heavenly Father, that only you deserve. We not come boasting, Heavenly Father, because we are good Christians. For Heavenly Father, we all have fallen short of the mark. But we thank you for the opportunity, Heavenly Father, we're able to gather here in the house of worship once again and say, Father, I come asking thy forgiveness of our sins, that thou will bless me and thou will keep me in the, thy bosom. Bless this church, Heavenly Father. Bless it from the pulpit to the door. We ask the special blessing for those that were dedicated this morning to say they will sing the songs of Zion. Yes, yes, yes. Touch the hearts and the Father. Yes. Touch the voice and the Father. Yes. That they may be to sing and uplift our words. Yes. We pray for our visitors this morning. Yes. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you led them to Zion this morning. Yes. We thank you for the young man that plays here, Heavenly Father. Be with him and strengthen him daily. And bless the deacon board. Put to them strength and courage and faith. Don't let them stand by and boast that I'm a deacon, but let them stand by and say I'm a Christian. That I know God, that God is within me. Strengthen us, Heavenly Father. And as we go on our service today, we pray for the young man that's supposed to break the bread of life this morning. May he be able to speak thy word. Hide him behind the cross and take self out of self this morning, yes, Father. Yes, he made a preach what you said. Yes, Thus say the Lord. For thee and all are blessed in heaven, Father. Ask the Son's name for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. 